Alright, so you want to be a web developer. Well, that's a great decision. However, you should practice a lot and try to follow the best practices. In our case, in this first video, every HTML file should include the document type declaration. The document type declaration, or doc type declaration for short, declares the HTML version you're using and that is to help the browser. The doc type declaration looks like this. Doc type, HTML. You can see how simple and easy it looks. However, HTML4, the previous version, used to have a more complex way of declaring the doc type, like this. Even if this is not a big problem, the HTML5 version is just so clear. Ok, let me delete the HTML4 version, and I will save this file on my desktop as video1.html. I will go now to my desktop and I will double click this file, and this will open on our browser. However, there is a problem here. As you can see, there is nothing there. We have already some content in the file, which is the doc type declaration, but in the browser we see nothing. There is a reason behind this though. As I have already said, the doc type declaration is used by the browser to get some kind of, uh, of help. We will elaborate this better in the next videos, though there is no real content to render. Let's type something in our document, something like, this is a test. I will save, go back to the browser, reload, and now you can see the content. This is a test. Suppose we go more extreme. Let's say that we want to display a Japanese word. So let me get a Japanese word. So I will copy Arigato and I will paste it in my Sublime Text. I will save, go back and reload. And we have a problem. So the characters, the Japanese characters, are not displayed correctly. To fix this, we have to use Charset along with UTF-8. UTF-8 covers almost all of the characters and symbols in the world. So let me do this. Meta, Charset, UTF-8. I will save, go back and reload. And now you can see that the characters are displayed correctly. For this very first video, I think this is enough. In the upcoming videos, we will learn more and even if you know some HTML4 or HTML5, you will still learn stuff that you probably don't know. Thank you.